Hello everybody and welcome to episode 8 of this series. For those who don't know, this video is part of a collection of videos, so make sure you check out the entire playlist by clicking the card in the top right corner. Otherwise, you may be a bit confused about what's going on. For those that are less confused, welcome back. I'm sure a lot of you have lost track. So in summary, we have died 183 times so far. We've crashed only 10 times and we've had sex with 10 different people. Our overall goal for this run was to complete the base game with only one HP. Our goal for this stream was to find locations. That's, that's it. The rules for this run are, number one, we could not wear any armor or clothing whatsoever. Number two, we could not have any companions in our party unless the game forced us to continue. Number three, we could not use vats whatsoever. Number four, we had to find every location that we could reach in the base game. Number five, we had to have sex with everyone we possibly could. Now that the goals are set and the rules are clear, let's rock and roll. We started where we last left off, at the Gunrunner's trading post. After doing some trading, we fast traveled south to find some locations in the Powder Gangers territory. The first location we decided to go to was the New California Republic Corrections Facility, just to get it right out of the way. We cleared a bunch of prisoners outside, then went to the entrance building. Our weapon of choice was the Spurrowwood 9700, and we died twice. Our next weapon of choice was Mercy, and we blew ourselves up a couple of times. Four to be exact. On our last death, we had turned to our right and noticed that there was a powder ganger directly next to us. He would kill us regardless of what weapon we used. So we took out our terrible shotgun before entering and took him out, but a different powder ganger shot us and we died. So we tried Terrible Shotgun again and we cleared every single one of them. Going out into the courtyard, we cleared that area as well. And we cleared Cell Block A. Now to Cell Block B. We entered the Cell Block and tried to clear it, but we died by one of the Powder Gangers inside who had a pistol. After that, we took them out no problem and then made our way to the final building. This one was double storied and had the leader of the Powder Gangers inside. It was very close quarters inside. So we went in with the terrible shoddy and took out everyone on the first floor. Then we waited for everyone to come inside of the main room and get blasted. One turned the corner and shot us immediately before we could react. So clearing the first floor again, we actually became hidden afterward. So we looted everything and quick saved. Moving up the stairs, I aggroed them and fell back to let them come to us. But they all came to us all at once while I was reloading and they got us. So after that, we decided to take out Mercy and lob grenades from the stairwell. Unfortunately, we had incinerary grenades in, and we only had a couple in our inventory. So we ran out, and we had to reload with a couple of different grenades. They rushed us, and we died. Next, we started lobbing nades, but we were far too close to the room that we were lobbing nades into, and we died from splash damage. Twice. Finally, we took them all out and finished with NCRCF. We found some locations that were nearby and ended up fast traveling to Hidden Valley and moving towards Scorpion Gulch. While going through the valley, one spawned behind us and got us while we were killing the ones in front of us. So trying that again, we remembered that they spawned behind us and we got them. We moved forward a bit and they spawned more behind us and we died again. After finishing off all of the scorpions, we went to Helios 1 to complete that quest. We connected the terminals and went into the basement. Right off the bat, there were two sentry bots down there. While wondering how we were going to take this sentry out, we leveled up. The stats that we chose are on screen now. We tried no mercy, but it barely made a dent in them and we died. Next, we tried the alien blaster, and that actually stun locked the first enemy until it was dead. Same with the second one. So we moved forward and there was a third sentry at the end of a long, narrow hallway. We tried Mercy first, but with no luck. Next we tried the Alien Blaster, but that didn't work either. There just wasn't enough cover for me to take them out, and we weren't getting lucky with those critical hits. Then we tried the Gatling Laser, but they still got us before we even came close to killing them. Taking out our Gobi Sniper Rifle, we got the Combat Inhibitor, and we fell back and waited, hoping that it would attack some robots further in the facility. 
eventually we went back and saw that it didn't lose any health whatsoever. So we tried to get a sneak attack once again, and it ran at us and got us. Finally, we tried Alien Blaster again, and it got us twice. But on the third time, we actually got critical hits and took it out. With that facility cleared, we completed that quest. After that, we went to Black Rock Cave and killed two Night Stalker that were in there. The third one got us with a minigun. After clearing that cave, I felt like finding Black Mountain as a location, so we stopped by the Gunrunners to pick up some supplies. Sneaking our way up the mountain, a Nightkin got the jump on us and we died. After killing that sneaky little Nightkin, we moved up and spotted a group of three Super Mutant Masters. We tried Mercy and we failed miserably. Five times to be exact. After that, we backed up down the mountain and found a nice sniper post to hit them with the anti-material rifle. This worked actually until one of them got us with a minigun. Finally, we decided to just let them walk around a bit to see where their paths were. This is when we realized that there was a second squad of three right behind the first. The first one went all the way down to the start and out of sight while the second one was taken out by the anti-material rifle. Moving up the mountain, we passed a speech check with one of the radios to have all of the Nightkin attack all of the Dum Dum, took out the Nightkin sniper, repaired Ronda, and freed Raul, finishing Black Mountain for good. We stopped by the trader to sell the gear that we had acquired from Black Mountain and fast traveled to Raul's shack and walked southeast-ish into Cazador Deathclaw territory. At one point while traveling, we came upon a hill and on the other side of the hill was a bunch of Cazadors on our compass. So we took out Mercy and we tried to lob nades over the hill, and we died from splash damage. After that, we found a variety of locations and did some quests. While doing the quest at Camp Golf with the Misfits, we leveled up. The stats we chose are on screen right now, and the perk that we chose was Robotics Expert. Eventually, we ended up going to Cottonwood Cove and turning in some dog tags to the Legion, then to the fort to do some quests. Finally, we went to the Mojave Outpost to spread the word of Nipton. The point of doing that was to become friends with the Legion without pissing off the NCR whatsoever. We found some more locations after that till we fast traveled to the Gunrunners. At this point, we decided to end stream before exploring anymore. In total, we died 32 times this stream, crashed zero times, and unfortunately, once again, Cutthroat did not find anyone new to have sex with. Cutthroat will find love one day, folks. Thank you all so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube and follow my Twitch. Also, please don't forget to leave a comment about what you think of the run so far. I would love to hear what you guys have to think and say. Also, we have a Patreon page now. One day I would love to make content for you fine folks full time. So every bit that you guys generously give help me reach that dream, as well as help me find time to make videos and stream. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting. I hope to see you all in the next stream or in the comment section down below. A special thanks goes out to Toby Rev Blackfire for sharing his talents, the folks over at EFAP for motivation, the Mitten Squad for inspiration, and every Twitch and Patreon sub. You guys are absolutely amazing. Peace out.